The Deathbed Confession of Scientist Boyd Bushman Regarding Aliens Boyd Bushman, Lockheed Martin Senior Scientist, who died on August 7, 2014, disclosed in a recorded interview before his death. He revealed information about aliens and photos of aliens and alien craft he obtained as a senior scientist at Lockheed Martin. The revelations made by scientist Boyd Bushman. The designs of Boyd Bushman include a system to find aircraft or missile exhaust plumes, a metal detection system, and equipment for detecting radiation. Actual documents shown to David Sarita in 2008 by Lockheed Martin senior scientist Boyd Bushman showing the primary reverse-engineered craft from Roswell craft that first flew within the late 50s. During the interview, Boyd, he showed photos supposedly taken of aliens and he described the aliens. These aliens are from planet Quintonia, spelled phonetically from the video, he said, which is 68 light years from Earth. Bushman said it ought to take a minimum of 68,000 years to reach Quintonia if a space vehicle cannot go quicker than the speed of light, as physicists prescribed. These aliens, however, were able to make the trip in 45 minutes, said Boyd Bushman. During the video interview, Boyd produced a group of photos and showed them to the camera. Note, the photos were believed to have been taken before 2008. Here is cropped and zoomed screen capture of the photo Bushman disclosed. It's unknown wherever the original photos are or who took possession of them after Bushman's death. The first set of photos showed varied views of the surface of the alien craft that was housed and flown at Area 51. The last image shows the UFO powering up. Bushman says the craft used anti-gravity propulsion systems and was made of geranium, palladium, and a third substance that he claims has anti-gravity properties. In fact, Bushman demonstrated the material's distinctive anti-gravity properties on film by putting pieces of the alien craft on a scale aboard another worldly object. When the alien materials were value-added to the size, the load of the earthy object dropped. Bushman additionally noted that up to now, 2014, 39 Americans had lost their lives while trying to reverse engineer and check the extraterrestrial craft as well as over a dozen men who died in a very single instance when the alien aircraft's defense system switched on. Bushman also produced pictures of the alien beings he claims to have not only seen with his own eyes, but interacted with. According to Bushman, the aliens were about four one half foot to five feet tall and at least 18 of the beings lived and operated in the Area 51 facility. One or two of them were about 230 years old. The aliens said to Bushman that there were two types of extraterrestrial beings, which they described using earthly metaphors, were akin to our 19th century cowboy wranglers. One group, wranglers, guides the human race while the other is not so friendly. He noted that the alien beings have a spirit form that stays near the body for three days before transforming into a different state. Bushman claims the surviving alien being was able to fly the craft, but nobody else in the Air Force could. The alien was given a camera and asked to take pictures during one of these flights. After one return flight, the alien provided officials with this picture, which shows our solar system upon return from Quintonia, the alien's home planet. Interestingly, Bushman says the alien being told him that their home planet was 68 light years away and that the travel time to and from Earth was 45 minutes. Boyd Bushman says the alien also provided this picture showing the heads-up display, HUD, used inside the alien craft. According to Bushman, the HUD pattern in the photo is an overlay that guides the craft to Area 51. What do you think? Comment down your thoughts.